All right. I think we have one day left of prep to get this thing ready to do the wide body. I got probably 99% of the paint off. There's a couple little dent spots, don't really care. I'm gonna wire wheel the rest of it. That'll give it kind of the grain look that the rest of the car already has. What are you doing, Pig? And then um, got a box here I can make my templates for my side skirts out of. I need to get in here and probably cut some more of this out because I'm still getting some rubbing on hard bumps. Then I'll have to tack weld that back into place clean up a little bit and then we can start popping out some panels. All right, so it's still quite a lot of primer and other gunk on there and it's kind of heating up the metal just to get the rest of it off. So I'm gonna use some more stripper. I'm gonna let that set up while I deal with some other stuff. So we can see where the contact is for the rubbing and I could just bash this up some more but I'm just going to go ahead and take a sharpie and cut a sliver of metal out of here, beat the inside up to match it and then tack it all into place again so we don't have any more rub hopefully. Do it to both sides. Got a little bit of rub going on up here still when I turn full lock and of course it's where some bolts are so I don't know what these bolts go to but unfortunately I need to either take those out or cut that area out and bash it in a lot because it is rubbing really bad but either way it's time to get busy i gotta get this thing done can move this piece up with the hammer and then re-tack it. Obviously there's some structural supports in there, but I'm going to be compressing it so I'll still have the rigidity in the rear end because this is part of the unibody. Essentially this is part of the frame, so you really don't want to cut this inner structure. You want to keep it nice and strong. So welding it will help with that. Just got to get the hammer out and close this gap. So it's basically closed up. It helps once you're trying to get this final gap to close. If you do it while you're welding, the heat actually allows for this to bend and stretch a little more, makes it malleable. So what I'm gonna do is trim this little bit of edge off that's sticking out, and that way they'll butt up flush, like over here and over here. And then I'm gonna get the welder out and start tacking every inch or so just to get everything tightened to the way I want it. And then I can go in every half inch and then every quarter and every eighth until I get like I had before where it was just a seam of weld. And that should, should anyway, get the, uh, the tire out of the fender. I may still need to take these helper springs off because I'm getting a lot of sag and I'm really not liking it. Everything I've read online says if you take these off, you'll actually get less bounce and compression because these are a lot stiffer. So I got them about halfway up the adjustable amount right now and I'm still getting a lot of bounce so we'll see perimeter tacks got everything butted up nice got some more clearance in here now i'm just going to go back like this and fill in all these little tacks all the way across and then i can start on the other side tacks are all done now i just got to clean it up with a wire brush and then i'm going to throw some primer on it and uh move to the other side got this side all cut out now hammer time i always find it weird when i find shit that i know i didn't buy but where the fuck did this come from it's pretty fancy all right, this side's all done. I'm gonna prime it, spray it all up in the fender well, and then I believe I can hit these with a wire wheel since 99.9% .9 of the paint's off. And then I gotta flip them over and cut off all the excess trim metal that I don't need so that they will actually fit against the car like I want. And then I also need to roll the fender edge so it doesn't cut into the tires. And then I can start mocking those up. I still need to get more clearance here but making progress. I'm gonna go ahead and prime that and then move on to the next step. So as we can see here from the rub, I already massaged quite a bit out of the way, but you can see more rub right here when I've turned the wheels to full lock, I'm getting rub here. 
and obviously up here and here didn't realize that so i guess i need to bash that in as well as this a lot more good selection of hammers always helps so let's get cracking All right, and now I'll be able to see where it's rubbing. Hopefully that'll do it, because I really don't want to have to pull this fender off to beat on this thing again. So I got the fenders all knocked down to just skins, so they're clean and basically ready to mount. I'll bend the fender well arches tomorrow. Got these brought up another couple of inches and got the front end beat in a little further, so I got some turning radius. So that concludes part one of Miata wide body, metal wide body, whatever. Like if you liked, subscribe if you want, and as always, keep modding. There we go. Yeah.